Before we continue on to step three, I want to do a quick aside, a quick note. We'll be talking about colored coins in the next step. And so it's important that you understand what that means. We have a whole video on colored coins that goes into a good bit of detail that I'll link here. Uh, but for now, I just want to explain the basic concept in a non-technical way so that you understand what's going on as we proceed. The idea of a colored coin is, is uh, pretty simple. You are basically marking a tiny amount of Bitcoin to be a carrier for some other value. So that value could be an ounce of gold, a piece of real estate, a share of stock in a company, whatever. In the case of a BSQ token, it's the value is a bigger quantity of Bitcoin. So uh, the spec requires that a BSQ token be 100 Satoshis. So a very, very tiny amount of Bitcoin, a fraction of a fraction of a cent. And it has some specific properties applied to it such that this nodes recognize that those 100 satoshis are not just any satoshis but bsq tokens now notice i said bisc nodes because off of bisc those 100 satoshis are just 100 satoshis we haven't created any new bitcoin that would be impossible all we've done is taken some existing Bitcoin, added some additional properties according to the BSQ spec, so that BISC clients recognize those transaction outputs as BSQ tokens. So the practical effect of this is when you have a BSQ token on BISC, you'll be able to sell that BSQ token for the market value of a BSQ token, which here, uh, the example is 0 0.001 Bitcoin. Uh, we don't know what the actual value of a BSQ token will be because BSQ tokens are not trading yet, but it's safe to assume that it's gonna be a lot more than the underlying 100 Satoshis that, uh, that carry that value. So um, that's the basic idea. The tiny, tiny amount of Bitcoin with some special properties that the BISC network recognizes uh, to enable those tokens to be sold for uh, a much higher value. And we'll see why that's important and how that plays a very important part in the BISC DAO compensation process in the next, uh, in the next steps. So let's take a look. 